G'day Bills, it's been about eight or so months since the last update on my Dr Kevin Novak inspired BCB baskets. We use kitty litter to help reduce nitrates in our aquariums, which means we reduce water changes, which is always a good thing. This is just some footage of making the last basket and putting it in the sump. I won't go into too much detail because I have other videos that cover all of that. But if you're new to the series, I urge you to go back and check out the playlist. I'll put it up at the end. You'll, you'll learn a lot. It's a bit of an eye opener and it not only shows how I made the baskets and all the testing and all the progress, also a little bit of information about what anoxic filtration actually is and how it works. And because I'm only a truck driver, I use basic language that everyone can understand. For those of you new to the series, this sump belongs to my South American tank, which is a thousand litres or 250 gallons for those who haven't caught up with the rest yet. And it contains about 9, 10, 20, K3, uh, dirt, about 20 to 25 fish and most of them are all a reasonable size and they do eat a lot, and I mean a lot. I feed once per day, six days a week. I have Sundays off, but on those feeding days, they do eat a lot. It's pellets, veggies, flake, you name it. And they're all fish are growing pretty well, so you'd expect them to produce a lot of nitrates. Like have a look at this fella here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to perform a water change and then we're gonna leave it for four weeks and we're gonna test every week to see how the nitrates are coming along and to see how the baskets are performing. And so using my Colin from Aussie Aquatic and Paul from Fish Northwest approved water change device, we performed a 50% water change and filled it back up and now we'll test our nitrates to see where we start. And even though the camera doesn't really show the colour properly, it's probably somewhere between 10 and 15 parts per million where we're starting. So we'll call it 15 to be on the safe side. And because I have a memory like a sieve, we'll write that one down in the calendar so we can track our progress and see how we go. And so after one week of feeding that tank full of fish, nitrates have barely increased. I'll I'd call this one probably smack bang right on 15 parts per million. So we'll give it another week and we'll check in again. And so after two weeks with no water change and lots of food going in, we'll let the timer count down and we'll call that about 20 parts per million. It's definitely not over. If anything, it might be a fraction under, but we'll just call it 20. So we'll write that one in the calendar and we'll give it another week and see what week number three brings. Okay, so after three weeks, we pretty much, I'd call that bang on 20 parts per million. So I think it's going pretty good considering the amount of fish in that tank. Now viewers, the moment of truth. So after four weeks without changing any water whatsoever, and feeding those fish a pile of food that Evil Knievel couldn't jump over, it's time to see what our nitrate levels are at. So drum roll please. And there we go. I'd call that about 30 parts per million, which I think is pretty good considering the amount of fish in this tank and the lack of water changes. So if you don't believe in anoxic filtration, think it's all made up, it's all just snake oil, I think anyone can agree 30 parts per million in a tank like that, regardless of the fact that it hasn't had a water change in a month, has got to be pretty good. And just for a comparison, and those that believe plants will bring down nitrates, not clay, this is my planted tank, and it's got lots of plants as you can see, and not very many fish at all. And this tank gets a weekly water change. And here's a comparison. So four weeks of our big tank is a fraction lighter, so less nitrates than that planted tank that was changed a week ago. So I think that result speaks for itself. But look, 40 parts per million isn't zero and I can't really fit any more baskets in this little sump. 
So we'll make up a few bags, just with some kitty litter and a bit of fluorite for the iron source. So we'll make those up and we'll throw them in and we'll check in in another few months. So I hope you found this video interesting viewers and if you like leaving likes, leave a like and subscribe and all that other stuff. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.